Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And this week I'm sharing about small things, little things, that seem almost insignificant, and yet they're such a big blessing and such a big, huge part of what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. And these are things that don't take a lot of extra time or effort, and they're wonderful opportunities for us to make the kingdom of God a better place. So one of the things I notice when I read the scriptures is, you know, if, if I was to go to um, most people who attend church regularly and I'd say, okay, name the 12 people that Jesus picked. And they'd probably go, oh, well, there's Peter and Andrew and James and John and uh, Judas. And after that, they kind of get lost because the rest of the characters, they show up sometimes in call stories like Nathaniel or Matthew or Bartholomew or Levi. But they don't get mentioned a whole lot more beyond that. They become behind-the-scenes characters. They are there. They are doing amazing things. They're sent out two by two. They had to be with somebody. They, they, they're doing ministry, but they are not in the spotlight of the Gospels. And that makes me think about a whole lot of folks I've met and encountered over the years who are the behind-the-scenes roadies uh, for the church. They do things like collect the offering as ushers, or, or they turn on the lights and turn off the lights before and after worship services. They pick up chairs or make sure chairs are set up before the worship service begins. They, they do things like unlock doors to make sure that the church is hospitable. They, they take a moment out of their busy day to go and pick up donuts so that there will be donuts for hospitality at the table in the welcome center of the church. They do these behind-the-scenes very small acts that are huge when it comes to being a part of the kingdom of God and discipleship. They're the ones that take notice when someone's missing in the church, and then they go and call and check on that person. They're the ones that, that even though they'll never get up front and they'll never ever want to read scripture or say a prayer out loud in a small group, but they will serve. And they'll do so with their head down, because they don't want to get noticed. They'll do so with a sense of humility and pride in the fact that they're serving God. These are angels who, who, whenever they see something on the church building or the church grounds that needs done, they just do it. They don't ask permission. They just go do it. Whenever they're in the community and they see an, a, an opportunity to be a blessing to somebody else, they don't even hesitate. They are the church roadies. The ones behind the scenes that are making things happen just simply because they're following Jesus as disciples. They are part of the twelve, part of the group, but they don't get noticed that often. And I'm so thankful for them because they are making the world better together. Perhaps you're one of these folks, or perhaps you have opportunity to be like this. Take some time today as you're going about your day and look for an opportunity to do something behind the scenes. If you don't know of anything, trust me, ask your pastor. We have lots of things that can possibly be done. Everything from simply making sure that the kid who's going to light the candles before worship service doesn't burn the robe we're put, trying to put him in. All kinds of wonderful things that we can do. You can be a behind-the-scenes disciple, a roadie, so to speak, for the church, and make this world better together.